All right, natural logarithmic equation with the square root. Perfect. Now, there's a couple ways we can go through about this. Um, we automatically know that we have a logarithm naturally um, exposed here. So therefore, I could just go ahead and rewrite this in exponential form. So it'd be e to the fifth equals the square root of x minus 8. Then to undo, to solve for my x, to undo my operations, I need to undo the square root. So I'd square both sides. So now I have e to the 10th equals x minus 8. And then I can simply just, I don't know why at 10 comes from, and then just add 8 to both sides. So therefore, x equals e to the 10th plus 8. So therefore, I need to calculate that. So I'll do um, e raised to the 10th power plus 8. And therefore, that answer is going to be x equals 22,034.47. Now, another way you could also do this is um, you could also bring that, you could also use your properties of exponent or of logarithms of x minus 8 equals 5. You could rewrite that as ln of x minus 8 to the 1 half power. Then you can bring that in the front, so it would be 1 half equals. 1 half times the ln of x minus 8 equals 5. Multiply by 2. So then you'd have ln of x minus 8 equals 10. And then, again, by converting this not exponential form, you'd have e to the 10th equals x minus 8, which is the exact same thing we had over here. So that's a way of using your properties of logarithms. Or if you just prefer using your inverse operations, that would work as well.